Hey guys, Danny, I'm back. I moved houses and I made a new studio. Luigi asked me, is there an audio delay between the Marshall devices, specifically the Ember 10 II and the Willen in stack mode? So Luigi was experiencing a specific delay in his audio on video, and I just wanna see if I can replicate it with these guys. Since I've got them and, and not many people own both of these, we'll try it out for everybody. This is the Marshall Willen. This has got Bluetooth 5.1 and the Ember 10 II is of the same stuff. It's also Bluetooth 5.1. Bluetooth 5.1 is kind of the end of the road for proprietary sound systems if it takes off. So unfortunately these guys do not have it. That's probably why Marshall made stack mode for them is to kind of help keep make them relevant when other stuff gets rolled out. Stack mode is just a proprietary way for these two speakers to talk to each other that Marshall uh, implemented in these guys. Essentially, uh, I don't even know if you really need the app for it. All the app is going to tell you to do is um, for the main speaker device, you're going to hit the button three times, the Bluetooth pair button. So one, two, three, should make a noise. It's supposed to make a noise. One, two, three, maybe four. You didn't just connect to the Alexa, did you? Interfering. Yep, she was connected to the frickin' Echo. Don't ever connect your Marshall speakers to your Echo unless you want a world of pain and confusion. Okay, finally. The thing I don't like about the way they have these things connecting is hitting the Bluetooth button is also how you disconnect your phone from it. So I just did that. Plus I had an Echo device in the house that was connecting to it. So it was a real pain in the booty. Main speaker. Triple press the Bluetooth pairing button to start stack session. To add it, double press. You want to double press. Okay, so one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, that sounds like a little more positive. So now we're gonna try the will again. One, two. That sounded like a not a, you just did it, okay. It should be stack mode. Guys, I'm not a fan, it's frustrating. All right, let's watch little little Danny here and see how it goes. Hey everybody, it's it's a Danny. Welcome. And today I'm super okay. excited because that audio is synced. I have the Marshall Willen. I've been waiting on this. But thing it's not in stack me. mode. And Do I have to stack them physically? And safety. Quick charge that stack. You up. Curious how that's gonna work. Finally. So let's turn it on. Stack mode. That was not easy. On? I did not enjoy I, that. I probably hold the gold button. And there it goes. It's on. Heck yeah. Connect. Okay, it looks setting up. Sync. So let's give it a quick, just a first impression. Let's just do a rewind. Hey everybody, it's it's a Danny. Welcome. And today I'm super excited because I have it looks good. The Marshall Willen. I've been waiting on this thing for. Okay, so I what I've been noticing is that actually it was synced up well. Um, however, when I rewound the video, um, I noticed it was out of sync for like a couple seconds. And then the video like resynchronized somehow and it like jumped in place to the correct portion. So I wonder, Luigi, if uh, maybe yours is just like not resetting for some weird reason. It's a lot to ask to have a video playing at a certain rate and then these speakers to catch up and how that communication happens and gets synchronized. I'm not totally sure. It might be dependent on the app. I had tried this earlier and I was able to get it to where it wouldn't synchronize. Um, but then I would just change one thing, like I would just put it back in stack mode or I would reset the video and it seemed to fix it. So I would say at the worst, it's just kind of finicky between these things and you can get a delay, but with enough fidgeting, it can be fixed. But unfortunately that means that it's just not strong enough of a system to always synchronize perfectly. That's something, unfortunately, when you have proprietary systems, they just, they can't do everything correctly. And that's why we need standardization in the future. Bluetooth, you know, LE audio, Bluetooth 5.2 and above should be utilizing that later on this year. So great question. Thanks for asking. As you can see, getting these things into stack mode is actually kind of a pain and I really didn't enjoy it. So if you're thinking about getting one of these anyways, I've got some affiliate links below that I may earn a commission from, but I appreciate it if you're already in the market for it. And if you like what I'm doing, leave a comment. Let me know if you have any other questions. Um, I enjoy reading them. And thank you so much for watching. So I'll see you later. Bye.